Yeah, hi, I'm Paul Archer, that's paularcher.com. Got a little, uh, little tip for you here, a little sales tip, which is down to coaching really, so this is a coaching tip. But if you're doing the coaching or if you are being coached, this will have some great um, benefit for, for both of you, sales managers or salespeople. And it's to do with um, learning on the job. Now, the other week, uh, my wife and I, Claire and I, went out for a, went to Tewkesbury, which is our local town. And um, we, we went for a cup of coffee in Costas, which you know, is always a treat, isn't it, to have a nice cup of coffee made for you. And Costas is great coffee as well. And they pay taxes, I believe, too. <gasps> oh, that was a bit, uh, bit edgy, wasn't it? But the point is, though, my wife and I went into this store and uh, we, uh, we ordered a coffee. I ordered my usual Americano uh, with an extra shot because it was Saturday morning and my wife had a, a latte or something. And the young girl was doing the coffee. You could tell she was new. And that's fine. I'm okay with that, you know? People have to be you know, new to jobs. But she was making some, some basic mistakes with the coffee. The first of all, you know, the, when they have the espresso comes out of the machine, they have a little glass that goes under. She, was, she put it, so, so some of the coffee was missing, you know, which really annoyed me because I liked it strong. And then she put too much hot water into the, into the, into the cup so that when she poured the espresso in, it was like flowing over. And, and when my wife had milk put into hers, it just flowed, flowed it wasn't nice. But it was a pleasant Saturday morning. My wife and I were having a nice, uh, nice morning out and I didn't want to embarrass the girl. Hey, I do enough of that during the week. I didn't want to say, look, you know, can you do it again? You made a mistake. So I just let it go because it's not a big deal. You just scrape a bit of the coffee off. The, it's not a big deal. But the point behind that little story is that this young girl who was obviously learning the ropes hadn't, I guess, been trained properly or she, maybe she'd been trained, but she wasn't being coached. She wasn't being observed because it comes down to the fact that when, when you're learning something, we have this uh, 10, 20, 70 rule, don't we? You, you probably come across this one, 10, 20, 70 rule. And that adds up to 100. And the whole idea is, of course, that when you're learning something 100%, that's when you become an expert at it. So we take, for example, this young lady and, and this, this barista training. She obviously had some training, I imagine, from the barista at some point. Now, many of us have training. It doesn't always work. And I'll be honest with you there, because I, you know, I'm a trainer by trade. But the 10% of, of training itself doesn't always work. It's got to be done properly on the job. And where she missed out, I think, was in the 20% there, which is the coach. This is where you get coached and, and, and specifically observed in the field. So she should have had somebody watching over her. She should have had somebody keeping an eye, although it was busy, giving her feedback, letting her know how she's getting on. That's the 20% when people really start to learn something. And in sales and sales coaching, we know as sales managers, we've got to do the coaching after any training course. Otherwise, it don't work. And as a salesperson, beg for coaching, ask for coaching if it's something new that you're learning. But the last 70%, is what we call on the job, OTJ. That's when people get on the job, they make mistakes, and you, know, you learn from your mistakes, and, and you get better and better. Maybe that young girl was at that point. But again, nobody was around. She couldn't ask anybody to give her any feedback. There wasn't anybody watching her, keeping an eye, like a manager. She was totally on her own. So although she was at this point, probably, she wasn't learning. She was making mistake after mistake after mistake. So, so that's the learning, really. Um, if, you, if you want to, uh, to learn something, obviously, go for these areas as well. Don't forget the coaching. Beg for it if you need to. You're not going to learn everything from a classroom. It doesn't work that way. And um, yeah, I think I made the right decision, not embarrassing that young lady. My wife and I had a little chuckle afterwards. And Claire was actually quite proud of me for not embarrassing the girl. So I, I was expecting you said, to give her some feedback. I said, I'm not like that, truly. <laughs> Maybe I am. Hey, useful idea. I hope you found it useful. Paul Archer, paularcher.com. Bye.